What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today, I want to talk about uh, Michi X and her live she did uh, yesterday. Uh, 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 addressing Sonetta, right? And the whole polite situation and Sonetta's uh, lack of accountability and for, you know, his portion in creating polite, right? And how it displays a big issue that I've been talking about in the in the black community, you know, in the conscious community, is that we got a lot of we got a lot of black folks who stay silent when people who are they're close to, people who they work with, do degenerate shit because it's some code of oh that's my homie, you know, oh you know, let me not blow him out the spot, and, you know, and sometimes we don't think we're a part of the problem, but we are the problem. And people like Sonetta, and the fact that he knew that Polite was a pedophile, right? He knew Polite was a pedophile, right? But he still platformed that pedophile, right? And this has been a thing with Sonetta that he platforms a lot of people who've been detrimental to the community, unbeknownst to the community. He platformed a lot of these, these pretendian people, right? Who uh, came on there and they spit their little knowledge and then they start shifting people over to this pretendian idea, right? So he has allowed African Americans and other black people to be miseducated because he continues to platform pseudo, pseudo conscious people who get an opportunity to, to, to disseminate their false information to the masses. Now, if he was really about that life, you know, he would have. He wouldn't allow false and pseudo information to be platformed. Now, I can see having a debate whether this and that and that and this. And there's a time and there's a level in which you do that, right? But then you're supposed to dispel all that pseudo stuff, all that negative stuff, right? But remember, Sinetta is the dude, and everybody was watching Sinetta. He was the only dude on there. He had all these guys, you know, he was on the street, you know, and he had all these different perspectives, right? So he was the medium right when it was just him it was his responsibility right to teach the the masses of black people because he decided to take that role now whether he decided to take that role you know because he truly felt like he wanted to do something for his people or did he truly feel like all oh, there's money to be made in this conscious movement and the evidence shows the evidence shows despite a lot of the stuff that he said is about the money because like michi displayed right when, when it's convenient for Sinetta, when, when he was beefing with Polite, all of a sudden he had all this information about this girl, right? This, this, this underage girl. And he blasted him about it and said, don't, basically said, hey, don't let me blow your business out there. So for him to threaten Polite five years ago about some stuff that he obviously knew, that means he's complicit. It's even worse because supposedly this, this underage girl is his relative. So he's the silent family member that allow a child to be molested because it was molested by somebody that he worked and make money with. So, so when shit like that happened, you know, how is it that how how can that outweigh? How can how can all his so-called uh, work he been putting in the streets? How can that outweigh the fact that he's enabling a predator to prey on young girls? If you know somebody is a predator. If you know somebody is a predator, you have nothing to do with them. As a matter of fact, he should have went just as hard on Polite when he found out that Polite was a predator as he was banging on everybody else for, for um, systematic racism. When he was talking about how he was on the street getting arrested and they was tearing down his sides and he got out of jail and yeah, he was out there on the street. He was doing it like that. And he was doing all this for the community and he, he ain't no YouTuber. He blah, blah, blah. All that energy and that fire and that venom and that, that all that power. He should have directed all that to Polite when he found out Polite was a, was a, was a, um, was a pedophile. Not only did he know Polite was a pedophile, but he knew Polite was a scammer. But he kept platforming Polite. He kept platforming scammers along with other scammers who, who used pseudo information and stole money from the community. So was he a, so is he an asset or a liability to the community? Ultimately. And he was going on Q Butter saying Q Butter, you know, comparing himself because when he's under attack, because he feels like he's being attacked by everybody who simply wanted him to 
hold himself accountable for platforming this dude. Nobody was calling him a pedophile or nothing like that. They're just saying, dude, you probably shouldn't have platformed and you probably should have said something earlier. All he had to do, if a true elder with true wisdom would have said, you know what? You're absolutely right. You absolutely, if he was a true elder and his age and his wisdom matched up, he'd have been like, you know what, family? You're absolutely right, guys. I was wrong. I should have never, I should have, when I knew I should have platformed, he should have did that. At least that would have let us know that he was genuine and he, you know, just made an honest mistake or whatever, right? And it was just, you know, hey. But he himself admitted the only reason that he brought uh, Polite back is because he said the people was asking for it. The people was asking for it. So what he's saying is the money was asking for it. So the algorithm told him, hey, if you put Polite back on here, I'll make more money. So he prioritized making more money off the conscious community by platforming scammers and pedophiles because that personally enriched him, even though it was detrimental and dangerous and destructive to the community. So he values his pockets over the community. So that means ultimately it end up he don't seem to have any integrity. So he can't be respected as an elder, unfortunately. You know, now because of Sinatra, there was a lot of good people that did get highlighted. But at the same time, there was a lot of people that, that was detrimental to the community. A lot of fake pseudo doctors. Everybody's a doctor nowadays, right? A lot of fake scholars. He had a lot of good scholars, a lot of fake scholars. And he would mix them in and he would give them credibility because you put the fake scholars with the pseudo information up there with the real information, confusing the people. Now, if he, like I said, if he was about that life, he wouldn't waste his time with all that pseudo stuff unless he was bringing the pseudo stuff in order to show that this is bullshit. But that's not what he did. He tried to play referee because he liked the action, the drama that comes with two people battling about religion. Because when Christians and Muslims and Islam and all these these new uh, denominations, religions get in a room and they start arguing, it's obviously going to start some drama. And that's the only reason he was doing it because he was paying them lots of money, right? That's the thing about it. It wasn't about the black community. It was about the money. The money's more important than the black community. So now, when he was when it was his turn to be held account. For being the, the man Because keep in mind Michi Like Michi proved it on that show The dude thought he was the king In the conscious community He's everywhere I go People bow to me So if you're the man If you're the king Then you have to accept The responsibility of the king If you're the king of the con If you claim the title Of the king, king Of the conscious community That means you accept Everything that comes along With the kingdom That you so called built Right So if you're saying You got pedophiles in your court that's that, that, But that's not your responsibility But you're a king Right, you the king of the conscious community. You put more work. What kind of work did you actually put in other than putting out videos? What have you done for the children? Because Q Butter got a school for children. Q, Q Butter got a school for children. Q Butter has a school for children. So, are you saying that you platforming? So I'm not a platforming pseudo pseudo uh, scammers, right? He had a, a, a roster of pseudo scammers, uh, confusing. It's confusing the masses. That's why we got all those damn pretendians running around now. Because you had them idiots on there, right? And they slowly but surely was boiling their damn frog in the water with that damn pretendian, more pseudo indigenous crap. You 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 drilled it into people's heads who was looking for information because they didn't have information. So you gave them false information. So they downloaded false software. Now you got all these pretendians running around dis disavowing Africa for some fake fake um indigenous black thing that's your fault king right sonetta the king that's your fault right you the one that made a guy named polite who looked like a scammer just because he had the silver tongue you knew he was dangerous you the one who made this dude a millionaire if he was a millionaire you the one who put you the one who made it so he was rich if you was the king you should have shut his ass down if you was the king you should have banged on him and never allowed him back in your kingdom but you're not a king the only thing that you wanted was money. And it's evident now. And you went along and you cussed out the entire, your the entire Pan-African, the entire conscious black power movement because you mad because everybody's looking at him, uh, looking at uh, uh, Sinatra to hold him accountable, right? Because he the king, he's above and omnipotent and nobody can, can judge him. Yet that's what he do every day. That's the type of shit I'm talking about in the black community. We got all these fake people that want to be fake Pro black for for YouTube money. They want to be YouTube like Michi X said. She ain't no YouTuber. She don't get paid off YouTube. YouTube algorithm doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't dictate what she says on her platform. 
right? But the YouTube algorithm and what the white man on YouTube say they're going to pay you based off what you say seems to dictate what these coons and pseudos and scammers in the black community, you know, do and say, right? You got all the black fake Republican trying to make conservatism cool, trying to lead our black people into the fucking den of the fucking enemy, right? Because they want them old white people to give them money because white people love giving black coons money when, when, when black coons apologize and make white people feel good for all the shit that they do and their ancestors do. So black coons get on the internet and they make white people feel good and if you good and you got enough charisma, you get paid a lot of money for it. And they try to wrap that shit up in some sort of omnipotent, uh, I, or I've, I've reached a higher level the rest of black people don't understand type of shit. And I just, y'all just don't know what I know, right? You, so you got, you got, you creating enemies, you creating factions of idiots, retards, scammers, and pedophiles in the black community, holding us back because of people like him who remain silent when it benefits him but yeah, he want to say something when it benefits him and don't want to take responsibility when it benefits him. It's all about him. It's not about the community. Like Michi X, I don't give it. I don't, I, I'm monetized, but I don't care about making a bunch of money on YouTube. I don't care. That's not where I make my money. That's not how I plan on making my money ever, ever. If, if for some reason a white man, too many white people start watching my video and all of a sudden, I get demonetized. I'm still going to keep pumping the same videos at the same time. I did it several times where YouTube put me in YouTube jail. I didn't never stop me. None of y'all even knew sometimes because I don't care because I make money other ways. I use YouTube like a social media uh, to, to, to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? To get my message out there. Right. And I don't let the white man's uh, YouTube dictate what I'm going to say, even though I got to use this platform for now. Right, but like Michi X, at some point I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna empower myself and get my own platform, right? So we gotta get, we gotta start cleaning the house, yo. We can't have all these fake, dumb, stupid, pseudo, uh, pro black. They're not pro black. You can't just because you call yourself pro black don't mean you pro black. Just because you call yourself a pan African don't mean you're a pan African, right? Them just words. It's your actions that mean everything. You are a sum total of your decisions. That's your life. Your life is a sum total of every decision that you make. Every decision that you make in life leads you on a different path. And it's your choice of which direction you want to go when that fork in the road hit. And it seemed like when that fork in the road hit, a lot of these so-called fake Pan-Africans, these, these fake, these fake pseudo all black power, but they're really about their own pockets. They take the easy route. They don't know how to take the hard route. It's too hard. They don't want to stress out. They want 100,000 subscribers. They're not satisfied with five or 10,000 smart, intelligent subscribers. They don't want to grow slow. They want fast money. They want to skip go. They want to collect their $200. And that's the problem. That's a humanity problem. And listen, it's the same issue on the white side, the racist side. Don't you know those, those internet racists, those white conservatives? Don't you know they're grifting those white people? Don't you know when they give them that racist red meat, they're grifting them? They selling them courses too. They go on the. They paying thirty five dollars to go to to go to hotels and and, and 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 hear those white people debate each other on what kind of white is better than what kind of white, what kind of white power is better than what kind of white powder, what kind of white form of white white um superiority is better. You don't think they do that? They do that too, and they sell they and they sell courses and all that stuff. It's the same. So on the pro black side and the pro white side. On the pan-African side and the pan-European side. They all doing this. You can see they all doing the same thing. You can tell that they grifted. Taking advantage of the, the fact that this is the beginning of the age of information. So that means our people are just becoming aware of their surroundings. And it's unfortunate that the people that were already aware of their surroundings are blinding the people who are truly and genuinely seeking out real information and empowerment. So yeah, man, Michi X ethered the shit out of Sonetta. And I'm disappointed in Sonetta because I thought he was going to be an elder. But then after a while, I noticed his, his, his show started to become more trash. It became trashier and trashier with the same old folks arguing about the same old thing with absolutely no progression. Just the same old shit. Same reruns of Martin over and over and over and over and over again. Nothing new because that's what was paying him. The drama of watching black people fight about Asian and European religions. 
And every now and then, you'll get lucky and you get one black scholar that will give you some real good information in between all that bullshit. But how is it that the black community is supposed to decipher what's real and what's fake when you got a so-called king, Mr. Sarnetta, right, who mixes the bowl, who muddies the water, who puts all the pseudo mixed up with all the real stuff for people who's looking for knowledge they can't even decipher which one is real or not. Because you platform, you platform the fake shit right next to the real shit. It's sad and insane, but it's a new day. It's a new day. And like Michi said, just because you old don't make you an elder. You got to earn that shit. We got to look at your receipts at the end of the day and see what actually have you did for the community other than put money in your pocket. Now, ain't nothing wrong with making money off your culture. Everybody else do. But when you exploit your culture, that's when the, that's when the issue comes, right? Like now, we got all these dumbass, stupid-ass, weird, fat, ugly, incel-ass black dudes thinking it's okay to disrespect black women on a fucking commercial level and shit. What part of the game is that? I think every one of them are all part of the LGBTQ community, honestly. If you hate women that bad, just come out the closet and say that you gay. Just like a lot of these females that hate men, they actually gay. All right, and they say it. And at least some of them are honest, but some of you dudes that just be honest. You hate men, you hate women so much, you actually gay and you don't want to come out the closet. There's a lot of y'all like that. A lot of y'all like that. That y'all, because how the hell are you gonna be a black man? And you hate black women, huh? And you came from a black woman. Get the fuck out of here, huh? And some of y'all got daughters. I'm a. It's it's it's, it's 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 shameful. It's shameful. But yeah, we need to clean up the black community. We need to have some discipline, right? Because other communities. They have discipline, right? The ones that we always talk shit about and admire the Jews, they got discipline. We need to get some of that discipline. And it's about that time that we get that discipline. And you know what? Michi, she, she, she either cheap, man. What? You can't argue what she said. You heard him say it out of his own goddamn mouth. And you hear what Q Butter doing? That dude be doing like 24 hour marathon lives. But you know what? When he tackled the issues, when he tackled these pseudo individuals, he's doing it in a matter to debunk and dispel and re-educate the black people, you know, who are mixed up and confused with all this pseudo shit. So he's doing it the right way. So, yeah, I guess it's time to put these old dinosaurs, the pastor, they done made their money. Let them sit there and retire. It's time for the new Pan-Africans, a new generation of, of black power movement who are more disciplined, right? Have conviction, have honor, right? Have a sense of morals. And they unapologetically black. Anyway, that's all I got to say. This is Afro Fake Tech. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.